I am going to cry myself to sleep. I just recorded a whole intro and everything without turning my mic on. Anyways, hello everybody. My name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, before we get into everything, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell. Follow all of my social media and check out my merch. I will put it in the description down below. Guys, <laughs> today we are just changing my whole YouTube name. Sorry, no longer modified makeup by Mad. I hate to do it to you. It's now modified crafts by Mad. We're getting a little crafty. We're getting a little crazy here today. So I want to put my wisdom teeth that I just got pulled out a week ago into tunnels and wear them as jewelry because that's just what we're gonna do. Um, I got this idea from a person I saw on Reddit. Um, their name is is Zin, Zingia or Zingia, one of the two. I'll put a picture of what they did right here. It looked super pretty and cool. And I was like, I just wanna do that. So giving full credit to them, I'm gonna be doing their method of how they did it. I'll explain it when I'm doing it. I saw there was other ways of doing it, but I mean, I liked how theirs looked the most. So I'm gonna follow what they did in hopes that I can look like that. Yes, a week ago, I got my um, wisdom teeth pulled. It was a very bad, experience. Um, okay, it wasn't a bad experience. It was just very involved. My wisdom teeth were not poking out at all. My top two were kind of in my sinuses. My bottom two were like so close to my jaw that I have minor nerve damage right now for the next couple of months. It's numb right here on my face. Um, and I also had to get another tooth pulled because it was causing me gum problems. I know. I just had such a great time. And this is my first time recording since the procedure. I'm in pain and I have a lot of stitches in my mouth, which is a good place to be in when you're doing crafts. I feel like. He gave me my teeth. I didn't ask for them. Um, maybe because he felt bad. He was like, listen, since we put you through the ringer, take your teeth, man. Sorry. I have all five of my little teethers and we are going to be crafty with them today. We're going to go through all the things you need, I think. I don't even know what you need. I'm just going based off of like what I was reading online. So clearly the first thing you're going to need if you want to mimic this 100% is wisdom teeth. They could be yours or your friends. Someone else's, grandma's. Why would grandma just now get them out? I don't know, maybe she needs to. You can also buy teeth on Etsy. Apparently it's not illegal. I was very surprised to see that dental hygienists or oral surgeons will have Etsy's and sell people's teeth. Anyways, I have my own this time. Yeah, um, two of my wisdom teeth don't have roots on them. I don't know why. I don't know if he took them, if they're still in my mouth. I know that can happen. I forget what that procedure is called. I don't know. They don't have roots, so I won't be using those ones. Two of my wisdom teeth were broken in half, the other two, um, so I glued them together, but they, you know, don't look perfect, and the only tooth that came out as a whole was my molar that I had to get taken out. So I am going to be using this molar for one of my plugs. It technically isn't a wisdom tooth, but nobody has to know that. Nobody has to know that. I mean, now you guys do. Um, and this is out for the public world to see, so now everyone does know that. But that's fine. I don't care. Um, so what I did to prepare my teeth, because he just kind of threw them in a bag and they're a little gross looking. Um, I first rinsed them with soapy water to get dry blood off, and then I got a Q-tip with rubbing alcohol and got like the hard shit off it. I don't know, like hard, hard to get places off. And then I let them soak in a cup like this with like a little bit of water and bleach for like two minutes. You can't do it for too long or else your teeth will get brittle and break, I guess. I don't know, that's what I read online. So I only did for two minutes, which I think is enough time to make sure these are completely clean. They still look a little gross, um, but they're teeth. So they are always gonna look a little bit gross, um, but they are 100% clean. Um, yeah, I'm gonna only be using two of these teeth. I have three left over. So, you know, comment down below what to do with my other three teeth. You know, maybe I can make like, you know, a little necklace or something, a little necklace moment. And then the other things I have is some little stinky resin. I just got this at Michael's today. Um, I don't know if it's a good brand or not. I just was like, I need resin and I don't need this much, but this was the smallest box and it was $25. Um, but it's called Amazing Clear Cast, two-part clear coating and casting resin. Um, so pretty much it's like what you have to do with most resins. You measure equal amounts, mix thoroughly, and pour slowly. Easy, right? I'm sure it's easy. I have nothing to worry about. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using today. I already looked inside the box and it comes with wooden sticks, little measuring cups, 
and obviously the resin stuff. And then um, I also have a beautiful Bic lighter. No, I'm sorry though, this is Scripto. We don't got Bic here. Um, just because I heard it can, you can get out some air bubbles by like doing that on top of something you just casted or resined. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. I literally have never done this before. So I'm happy I'm doing it on camera for the whole world to see. I have a hot glue gun because how this girl put, girl or guy, I actually don't know, how they put the plug, like how they kept it in place is they put it on a little piece of plastic, which I have right here. Um, I just found this piece of plastic and like a, um, a little like thing that you get baked goods in and I just cut the top off because I wanted it to be super see-through just in case if I can't get the plastic off and I have to leave it on the plug. You're supposed to put the plug or the tunnel on here and then glue around the edges of the tunnel to keep it in place while it's casting for 48 hours. So yeah, that's what they did. I liked how theirs looked, so we're gonna do that. And if it's wrong, then get off my case. I know some people were saying to use like tape, but I'm not gonna do that. Another thing you're gonna need is some tunnels. I am using gold ones. And the reason why is because my teeth have a little bit of yellow in them. So I thought the gold would really bring out the yellow in it. These are just from Body Art Form 7 a seven inch tunnels. I know that was really gross what I just said with the yellow in the teeth, but I mean, dude, they were inside my skull. I can't bring them. Okay, sorry. I cleaned them all thoroughly. I cleaned um, the plastic, this, and my teeth to make sure there's no smudges or anything inside of my art piece that I'm creating. And then the final thing I have is just a little piece of Tupperware to cover it to prevent dust from getting on top of it while it's setting. So that's it. That's everything I have. Um, let's hope I don't miserably fail. I'm, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see my table and we're gonna do this together as a family and it's gonna be fun and it's gonna look great. Let's go. So right now I currently have this hot glue gun heating up and I have my tunnels on that little piece of plastic I told you about. So we're gonna work one at a time and we're gonna start by probably holding it down and then I'm gonna try to glue around the edges to keep it on there. And nobody make fun of how gross my fucking makeup desk is, okay? That's why I figured this would be a good place to do it because it looks kind of nasty already. But yeah, I'm just waiting for this to heat up. So I'm gonna try like holding the plug down and just making sure this tunnel does not leak at all when I'm putting the resin in. So I'm just kind of putting it along the outside. And this person on Reddit claims that if you just like, you can scrape off the glue like after this is all set and you like take it off. So it's not gonna look perfect, but just enough to make sure this is all in place. Oh, wow, doesn't that look beautiful? So now we're gonna do it with the other tunnel. Sweet, that looks professional. So we're gonna unplug the hot glue gun so I don't burn the living holes out of myself. Okay, so next, we have my teeth here. I'm gonna pick out the teeth that I want to put in. I'm sorry this lighting is bad. So we have this tooth, which is just a molar that I got taken out. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit on her. And then the other tooth that I'm going to be using is this one, which it has a big gash on the side, but if I flip it over that way, you can't see it. We're gonna have those kind of just ready in the position I want them so I know. And now we're gonna start mixing this resin. So we're gonna open this up. We have three cups to mix in. I'm happy they're little small cups because I honestly don't really need a lot. The B side, which whatever that means, um, two part clear coat and casting resin, harmful by skin absorption, corrosive. Cool. Oh, should I have gloves on? No, it's fine. I'm gonna probably regret that later. And then we have a stick. I have to mix these one part each. Um, so this whole thing can have 30 milliliters. So we're gonna fill it up to the 15 line. Yeah, so we'll fill it up to that 15 line right there in two of these cups and then mix it together in here. Um, I have 30 to 40 minutes of working time, which is nice. Um, and I was told not to mix fast or else I'll get bubbles in it and not pour fast because that'll give me bubbles. But if that happens, we have a nice, beautiful lighter. We're gonna start off with filling these cuffs with these two things. We're gonna start with the A side. So there's that one, filled up to the 15 mark. And then we're gonna do this one. Okay, 
Sweet. Okay, so I mean, I'm just gonna pour this other one in here. Hopefully that's not terribly wrong. And then start mixing it. All right, so I think that's mixed. I can't really tell, it looks like it is. So now we are going to first, I think my best course of action would to be putting a little bit down inside the plug first, just so the um, teeth have like a base to go down on. So like there's no like air bubbles under the tooth, you know? All right, and there's a little bit of air bubbles in there. Okay, so now we're gonna put my teeth down exactly how I want them to look. So this one is gonna go down that way. So we're just gonna drop it in there. I'm gonna take some tweezers actually and make sure it's on there in a position I'm happy with. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this tooth. And now we're gonna start pouring this slowly on top. I'm kind of doing this until it almost like makes like a bubble over it. So it has like a nice dome front to it, you know? Okay, I'm gonna put the remaining resin over there using the lighter to get some bubbles out. Guys, this looks so good. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna keep hitting with this to get the bubbles out. And then I have to let this sit for 48 hours. Here's a closer look at it. So you guys can see, isn't that pretty? But we'll see what it, the finished product looks like. I'm gonna put this over it because I heard that sometimes dust will get on it while it's sitting and we don't want that. So we're gonna let it sit. Okay, bye guys. Hello everybody. Um, it is actually 24 hours later and something terrible happened. Um, I absolutely outdid myself. Dude, I am so excited. I know I said I was gonna come back in 48 hours, but I read the directions and it said if it's in a cold place and if it's something small, it can be done in 24 hours. I'm in the basement, um, which is always cold down here, and these are small plugs. Well relative to other big projects you can make with resin. So I was like, they have to be done. So I came downstairs and I checked and I gave them a little gentle tap and they were done. So how I got them off is I just literally peeled them off the plastic and then I just kind of like peeled the hot glue off the edge of the tunnel, gave it a little wipe down. I used an X-Acto knife to kind of scrape off any excess glue stuck to it. And they look perfect, dude. I'm gonna make like a close-up shot of them so you guys can really see what they look like. I am so excited. Um, I am so happy. Sorry. I have a little bit of a lisp. Today is my first day that I'm allowed to wear aligners again after my wisdom teeth procedure. Yeah, so I wanna start making like more maybe plugs with resin. I don't know, dude, I don't know. Um, I have a lot of resin, so if you guys have any suggestions of like absolutely weird stuff to put into tunnels to make plugs, I will do it. Like, I don't wanna do anything basic. I mean, I guess I could, but if you guys just have anything completely strange, I would love to do it and make a video about it because that's what I'm all about. About. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe um, to see more of my content. I don't know, right? we have fun here. But I will see you guys next week with a new video. I don't know what it's gonna be, but you know, leave suggestions down below if you wanna see anything specifically. And with that, I'm going to head out now. Bye guys.